Hi, this is Neil. Welcome back to another Ultimate Guide. In KOF, offense is everything. How to keep your momentum is the key to win. I will tell you everything you should know after combos. But don't be afraid. Just treat it as a simple guide that tells you what you should do or shouldn't do in a certain scene. Even you don't play this character, watch it and get an idea of their setups. Don't let random player from ranks bully you. This guy is all about Yamasaki's setups, like Meaty, Safe Jump, and Tech Pro. If you want to learn his combos, I also have a video for you. Make sure to watch to the end. There's some secret tips in the final part. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's learn what we should do after his brand butter combos. Common options are Eddie Storm or Serpent Splash of the Pit Fighter. If your back is close to corner, you can perform an instant hyper jump as a safe jump to catch them with cover from Storm. Or dash in use both back as a meaty to catch them smashing or recovery. Both are easy to time. If they don't recover after storm lockdown, the very first thing you should do is walk back, which will help you to get out of wake up pro range. During walk back, you can perform another blow back as meaty again which will stop any mashing if you timed it right. Or just keep walking back and see how they react. As long as you can keep up the corner pressure. While in open, Instead of doing storm and reset everything, use Serpent Splash as follow up which do a bit less damage but provide much better all key situation. I have found a safe jump option, delay hyper jump D. But it is pretty hard. My tip on doing this is to perform hyper jump with circle motion from the back. So extra in command will kill some frame along the path. But it's still very risky to use it against 4 frame reversal. I would prefer meaty setup in here. Do instant hop to close the gap, then apply meaty with blowback or fast C. Both are beefy combo starter. I like hop as a frame kill because the hop might bait a reversal or if they know the setup, they send a first row message telling them to stay still or back row, which you can try to punish them. Corner setup are more interesting. After Serpent Slash, there are two meaty setup I would suggest. First one is using vertical hop far C instead of forward hop to set up meaty. Second one is whiffing far C as frame Q then crown C. The whiff animation of far C looks like it is punishable, but in fact, Yamazaki can move first and outside of throw range. This bait is really tricky. Once they stop moving, you can do anything you want, like take throw or even instant overhead. Safe jump is not recommended here. It is hard and easy to let them escape. As a mix up for the meaty setups, a vertical jump B would be a good idea. You can delay it a bit as a jump meaty. But the main purpose of this action is to bait reversal or a roll escape. Pit Viper itself also calls hard knockdown. You can set up safe jump or meaty after it as an alternative.
Pitfire Pack Level 2 is not a good combo ender. In corner, do instant crowd C as meaty setup. Geek Storm can be a follow up option after Pit Fighter, Gear 2, or Command Throw in Corner. In Open, only Fadi can reach as a meaty. Not very useful in my opinion. Also, the recovery is so slow that you don't have time to jump in safely. In Close Corner, you can keep pressuring with Crouching C, which will beat any wake up buttons. Decent meaty setup. Once they freeze up, use crouching light kick as meaty to set up tech throws. Normal throw with kick doesn't have any setup in open, but it is more exciting in corner. After throw, do instant throw back as meaty. It will beat all wake up normal attacks. Once they learn it and stand still, you can with a fast C with Serpent Slash cancel to apply command throws. You can do level 3 as well. If you can land this in the real game, share with us in our KOF Discord. Throw with punch have much better recovery, which lead to better setups, especially in corner. In open, even it is too far away for jump in, but you can dash in and apply meaty attack after hyper jump. Both forward B or blowback will do the work. Here are some gimmicks when dashing in. In corner, safe jump after punch throw is super easy. With a far D, then normal jump in. You should able to get it every time, but you have to mix it up, so that's a trick. Same far D for frame kill, but this time press far A, then blow back. It should work as a meaty and catch any mashing. Once they are conditioned, cancel the bow back with Serpent Splash to set up command throws. Both command throw have excellent hockey sign. Let's look at normal version first. There is a safe jump option in open after headbutt, but it is really hard to time it and jumping like it doesn't do much. I would prefer the meaty setup. Just run in and do blow back when you are close. This is quite easy to time. In corner, you can trade the storm damage for better Arky. Kill frame with crouch A, then normal jump D. You should able to get it consistently after some practice. For meaty setup, with a DP light kick as a frame kill, it looks like you messed up the storm input, but in fact, it is a trap. Crowd C will catch any wake up button. Knockdown of Geek's version is totally different from normal version. 
and open. You can jump in before they wake up from knockdown, but it is impossible to get this safe jump consistently. I would suggest doing a earlier jump in as a bait, so you are safe from both reversal and throws. Use it as a mind game. For meaty setup, you need to dash deeper compared to normal headbutt. It is possible to get it consistently with some practice. Once your opponent is conditioned, you can throw with them. In corner, safe jump becomes way easier. Vertical jump, then hop forward D. Easy and practical. Vertical jump also a good frame kill for meaty attacks. Do forward A after you land, give you an instant overhead meaty setup. Extend the combo with quick mode cancel if it hits. What if they roll out? Punish it. Forward A recover quite fast. Alternate meaty setup is walk back a bit, then blow back after vertical jump. Once again, when they freeze up, do headbutt again and loop the mix up. Gelatin is Yamasaki's best anti air move. It can easily bring your opponent into corner from mid court. By giving up the storm damage, you're able to do his easiest safe jump. Normal jump D. Both forward jump or vertical jump can work. Forward jump provides better offense. While vertical jump lets you punish roll out much easier. Although safe jump is so perfect, you still need a meaty setup to mix things up. Within two close A then standing D will beat all wake up buttons. Even both players are so close together, you are still out of pro range. After level 2 agility, their wake up timing becomes very awkward. Safe jump only available after delayed vertical jump or delayed hyper jump. There's no way you can do it consistently. Vertical jumping would be a better choice. At least you can bait something. It's also not easy to time your meat. Use Storm or Yeek Storm for guaranteed damage may be a better idea compared to setups. Thank you so much you are still here. If you find this guy helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. It will help more people to reach out our works. Okay, let's finish this guy with the secret of his Serpent Slash and all the tricks after his corner combos. Even though most of the time you will end combo with hit fiber, but there's some combo routes in corner provide different knockdown Oki situation and reset setups. Let's learn them in the final part. You can use DP light kick after this half bar combo. If you have watched my other guide in my channel, I've explained why this is not a good combo even if it do a little bit more damage. You can click the card there if you haven't watched it yet, or I will leave the link in below so you can check it out later. DP light kick cause hard knockdown, but the wake up timing is the awkward one. Safe jump is either delayed normal jump or delayed hyper jump. Both are not easy to perform. Meaty setup is whiffing through crouching A then standing heavy. Kind of a decent setup.
The reset combo route did a bit less damage, but there are more setups you can do. End combo with Serpent Slash B is the easiest way to reset. They will land right in front of you and you can simply press D immediately to stop their wake up buttons, including wake up throws. Let me tell you two features about Serpent Slash. Let's set up a throw reversal. When Yamasaki release Serpent Slash or cancel it, he will move backward a bit. This tiny spacing keep him outside of wake up throws against cornered opponents. This explains why Serpent Slash B reset works, even though they are so close together after the reset. Serpent Slash is not even necessary to hit to create this space. Second feature is about quick cancel of Serpent Slash. If you follow the command list, perform Serpent Slash, hold it, and press D for cancelling, it will be very slow. The quick way to cancel Serpent Slash is press attacks together with D. The command is simply put a circle back A plus D, B plus D, or C plus D. Now you understand how Serpent Slash works, let me show you the rest. Use Standing D Serpent Slash Quick Cancel to reset, and then delay Standing D to hit as a meaty when they return to standing position. This reset do a bit higher damage, also give your opponent the illusion that they can stop you with wake up throw, but actually not. Once they are freeze up, use Crouching Light Kick as meaty to set up tech throws. Do you finish the reset combo with Serpent Slash C or Sweep, it will cause Soft Knockdown. If they recover from Serpent Slash C or Crouch D with Quick Serpent Slash Cancel, you can do Delay Hop as a safe jump in, not an easy one but which is quite rewarding. Also you can do command throw when you land. They have to react to it very quick to avoid it. If they don't recover from knockdown, just walk backward a bit to get out of wake up throw. Then you can keep them inside the corner. As a mix up for safe jump, you can apply meaty if they recover from knockdown. After Serpent Slash C, with a far A then far C will catch any wake up buttons. As long as the far C reach and they don't stop mashing, you can keep going on. Crouch D Sweep also have similar meaty setup. Cancel Crouch D with Serpent Slash then Crouch D again will beat all wake up buttons. Delay Crouch C also works, and more rewarding. Once they stop moving, then it's time for some tech throws. I need a lot of time to make this video, so I may not be able to answer your request quickly. But you can join our Discord and learn new tech combos from what we collect from all over the web. You can share yours with us too. See you there.